Atlanta's number one hip hop station and home for the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Hot one seven nine, Miss Shanika, right here on it down on your radio. Got Lil Baby in the studio. I just really can't believe this is my first time meeting this man. I mean, we've been playing his records for about what, about three years now. Yeah, about about three, years. three years now. I stay, I stay in walking distance too, so that's Damn. my fault too. You know what? I ain't me for that. We gotta, we gotta do better. But it's definitely a pleasure to finally meet you. And I know you've been talking to people all day long, doing these interviews, cause you got this thing that's about to drop on Friday. My turn, my album. That's right. Are you excited? I'm overly excited. I ain't. Even, I don't even really get excited. I ain't been excited with this music thing. Like really? That, that too much. But it's just the the feedback that I've been getting before is out, and then the feedback that I get from the people that I hear, the hearing and stuff, it just kind of giving me that little excitement on it. It kind of building this. Okay. Situation. I usually just drop anyway, just like, I just drop shit. I don't never really like. Pro, like go around time, and promote it and, like and all of that. Mm-hmm. It. So it's like kind of getting me excited too, shit. Yeah. Right. That's right. So you just basically saying that you're feeding off the energy of other feeding people. Feeding off the energy of other people. Definitely. Sometimes you got to do that. Sometimes we be out of gas and we need other people to fill our tank. Exactly. All right. So, all right. I just heard that you only started rapping three years ago. How is that possible? <laughs> well, all it takes is you to find out how to put what you've been, like put your words in the swag. Okay. You got it. It don't take long. It, it, it take long to just find the swag. Okay. And I'm open to that ain't it. All Some right. Some people don't take it so long because they find a the swag and they think that's it and then it'll be it. So they keep trying that one and that ain't it. What made you pick up the mic? Other influences, like Coach K being the main influence, he always put it in my head. But even when he said, like, baby, be a rapper, it ain't going in my head like this. Then. I told y'all he was tired. I stay tired. <laughs> Lil Marlo, Lil Marlo, um, he told me one day, he was like, we just having a regular conversation. He was like, bro, like, we popping, like, in the city. Like, they ain't talking about you, they talking about us. Like, just like, I don't know, not no rap stuff, just on some, like, all the young girls, yeah. you know, even the boys, if they ain't shopping with them, they shopping with them. Or, That's the magic, you know though. Like, That's the so, magic. So it, it was like, bro, we need to rap. You feel me? And so was, you had it, because it can't really be defined, but if the girls love you and the guys messing with you, then that means that you got it. Yeah, so like I was already it. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like, you was it. It was like the one. So he was like, bro, you might as well rap. Like, I was it then. That's why I coached, like, rap. Okay. Over the time, over the time, then I went to prison for like two years. Just on some bored shit, thinking all the time. Just from a rap. I really was like a thought like that. So first, it was your mindset. You got it in your mind, and you you trained your mind for those two years that you were incarcerated. You like this? Is what I'm gonna do? Nah, it wasn't no like this. Is what I'm gonna okay. do to survive? Like this? Is what I'm just gonna but Nah, I was just like as a hobby. Okay. Instead of like I always been in the studio all day. Instead of me being in there all night and just there, I'm like, I'm, I'm going to hop in the booth one time. Just try it. Like, so I was like, when I get out, I'm going to try to rap. Just see what it's like. But it wasn't going to be like, I'm giving my life up to rap and I'm just going to try to. So actually, my first day out, like two days out, two days out, I tried to rap. Said something. Well, baby, you going to have everybody in America thinking I'm the most boring bitch that ever did an interview before in nah, life. They gonna, they gonna Please know. tell them people it ain't me, okay? They I'm the know. last interview. Everybody that interview, interview him I all had day long. 80 interviews this week. This is the last one. <laughs> what? You know what? Go to, down. to make up for it, you really could give me that jacket or I could just hold it for you. Yeah, I ain't about like 10 people having for that jacket. <laughs> <laughs> well, I ain't never seen a Gucci jacket like that before. Not yet. He ain't dropped. It was one of them exclusive pieces. Oh. I got one of, them, oh. one of my rich friends. Oh. I was hanging with one of my rich friends. Okay, so let's let's fast forward to the first song you completed, yes. right? Yeah. You dropped this mother, and everybody went crazy. Were you shocked at the response to your music that you got? I wasn't really shocked because I've been people's person. Like, okay. When I went to jail, there's somebody posting me every day, free me for sure. Like I'm a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been kind of it, like you saying. So yeah. I already had a, a, a big fan base, but they weren't even fans. Just a, a, 
following me, following her, like people who fuck with me. So once I put the music out, I used to literally like send my song to people in Atlanta. Like, like the text message way, like send a song, like, tell me what you think. Like, good hundred people. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Like, hundred people in my phone. I send it, I send a song to them. And I like a group message, like literally one by one, send them the song. And some of them probably listen, some of them probably didn't. But like my personal people who I know I could just send them a song when I felt like I made one, I sent it to them. Wow. And they were like, yo, that's it right there. They're like, man, you got a little swag. You got a little. <laughs> but I ain't feel like it was me though. Like the first song I made, Options, I ain't feel like that was me. Like, I ain't get in my bag until like my dog. Uh, my dog, like. That woke like, him up. Like, that kind of woke him up. That kind of got me in my bag. Like, even woke me up to the point where it was like, because I really went to a show and they was like, Rocking, and I was like literally smiling. I'm performing again. Like, like, you folk know this shit. So, so because this is not something that you've always wanted to do, right? You could very well say, you know, I did that. I really, you know, think that this is for me. Do you really like being in the entertainment industry? Because this shit ain't what everybody really I mean, think it is. You know, when you're not on the inside, you think it's all glitz and glamour. Right. And, then, and it's not. But I'll take this over anything else I've been through. Okay, you now. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it the best. Like, I ain't going to say I'd rather be doing what I was doing or I don't want to be Just let your yarns thing. out. You know, we we flowing free um, right now. Just um, let shit out. I wouldn't say that. Like, okay. So it ain't none that I didn't seen or didn't done that I feel like ain't was the money that they pay. You're right. So she on my side, like, yeah, yeah. Like, this shit better than just being anything. in the streets trying yeah, to figure yeah. it the fuck out. Like, yeah, yeah. Even if you got it figured out in the street, it's better than it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, these levels here, I know ain't no dope boy ever gonna get you. Like, you know, you Pablo's and shit. You feel me? Right. But, I'm gonna be the Pablo. You feel what I'm saying? Like, That's right. It's, it's, it's a better chance of rapping. It sure the hell is. So, um, because you've been rapping, doing your thing, you created your own label. Tell me about that. Well, I got my own label out. Four PO, four pockets full. Artists, Dirty Tay, O2 Dub, Rallo Rodriguez, DT. I got a couple artists actually. So, this with me being rapping and. Everything been working towards me and everything. And, and, and okay, it's like, <clears throat> I've been a leader anyway. Not saying like people follow me, but I, I like, bro, this is what we own. Like, and I'm hanging at the studio now because I got to rap. So it's like, when y'all try, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> try to rap. Then these folks rapping, they hard. So it's like, they don't even, bro, I had people telling me they don't want to sign nobody. Like, Rollo was on some, like, I don't want to sign nobody but baby, but I won't even sign the people. Wow. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he down there, Rollo down there made me create a label. Wow. Like, I'm just make four PF was 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 me. But I wasn't even going with it as a label because I was going with P as P label. Mm -hmm. Like I was going, I was working the move with me and P. But four PF was always just me in the game, like me and the bros. But as I start learning the business and getting more interacting, I'm like, I'm gonna just start me a label. Right. But I know I couldn't be signed, I couldn't sign myself anyway, so. I was just like, just sign artists. Like, Rollo, I asked him, ooh, I, they told me what they wanted. Like, they wanted like 300 bands or something or something, but I ain't had 300 bands to give. <laughs> like, like, I ain't figured, I ain't got 300 bands. So once I explained it to him, like, bro, because I know what, what it took for me to get where I need to go, like, P and my other business partner, they ain't never hope with hell nothing from me. So I know that. Like okay, the ends and the outs. You'll the get, business. you'll get, you'll get caught up and don't know how much that studio costs. So you'll get caught up, you don't know how much the videos cost, due to the fact that P actually let me know how much this stuff costs. So I'm already knowing not to just give somebody my money and then they be signing me. Then I have another three hundred thousand dollar bill. Right. I'm telling them like, bro, your bill gonna be three hundred bands. So let me give you fifty bands and just still pay my three yo three hundred tab. And in the end, you gonna like you feel me? Just so. Rollo was the first one who kind of believed in it and just went with it and came up with it. I can't. I already had a 4 PF. I was 4 PF anyway. Like I got 4 PF for my roommate in jail. I used to like I love music so much. I used to pay my roommate to rap for me. Like for real? Like 
Not even just my roommate, like other nigga. Once I learned that somebody <laughs> in the dorm can rap. <laughs> yeah. Man, shout out, hey. You can give weed, cigarette, whatever, rap. Hey, rap that shit you was rapping at. Who's your <laughs> like, who's your top three favorite rappers? Favorite, like future one of my favorites. Okay. I ain't like favorites. I, I fuck with everybody so hard. But there are particular reasons why you would like another rapper. Maybe it's his flow, his you know delivery, his punch lines. You know what I'm saying? Like, like okay. air- so it's more on like who I can relate to and like just say for instance like Rod Waves, the little new dude. Okay, yeah. I'm on him hard, but I can't say he my favorite. Over, okay, over other people, but like Polo G, a new another little dude. I'm on him hard, but I can't say he's my favorite. Like, of course, I listen to Thug, them, Gun, right. them. Like, but certain people inspire certain things so in like, you. So, like, okay, now, like, Drake could say something that inspires him to me. Okay. Haven't paid my taxes. I'm too shut <laughs> up. Yeah, like, if he's relatable, like, like you feel me? Then Future, he, he seems to just always have something that I can relate to in his songs because... I feel like we come from that same environment. You know what I'm saying? Then, like, and then now that I'm a rapper and it's like new generation rappers, I can't consider none of them my favorite because they ain't even giving me nothing to like. Right. They ain't even rapping. They, ain't, they ain't. ain't giving you nothing to gravitate to. Right. Then, you know, like with Jeezy's, he rapping, but he ain't really rapping no more. Like the older dudes that I was getting influenced by, they ain't even really in the game like that no more. It's like, my turn, right? To be that person, to get a young dude, something it is. To look up to the, it's your to turn. Be like, boy, I gotta get what baby talking about in his songs, right? Like, so I feel like it's my turn to do that because I don't even got nobody to look up to, like far as in the rap game, like to be on the like. So you Charlie gotta take it, guidance, like you gotta take it upon yourself to be that person. Gotta be that dude. It's a lot of people trying to study your blueprint right now to see what it is that they need to do to to get on. Gotta be solid and be they self. That's all I've been doing. Been solid, been myself. If you told me you give me two billion dollars to give you my blueprint, couldn't get the money. That's right, cause they can't be you. You had it, it before you get, started the rapping get, thing. That's all I had to tell them. Like, bro, you're gonna have to be all them characteristics. You're gonna have to already be in tune. You're gonna have to know these folks. You're gonna have to. It's it's just I couldn't get it to you. Who has been? Your best collaboration. You've done a lot of songs yeah. out here. What's course, what's your best collaboration? Of course, my so best far? collaboration I gotta say is Gunner. Okay. Or Drake. Because Drake brung a whole different light to me in my career. Definitely. Man, his collaboration. Then man Gunner. Like once Drake brought that light to me, man Gunner had a collaboration that that <clears throat> paid off or the light Drake shined on me. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when Drake shined a light on me, like, who is this kid, little baby? So then when I come out with Drip Too Hard, man, Gunner, they like, okay, this little kid. You know what I'm saying? Then right. It's fine. So them two collaborations was like my best collaboration. That's what's up. Damn, them them like my hardest songs, too. Like, Drip Too Hard was one of Those best. are your hardest songs. You know what I'm <laughs> That's indeed. I'm like, one of them So that's my best collaboration. So um, you have this album dropping today. All right. My turn. What does this album mean to you at this point in your career? At this point in my career, this means that you can show these folks you can't play or you ain't nothing to play with. Okay. So, like, I feel like I'm at, at this point where I can show these folks I'm on these folk level or I'm on these folk level. Like, because I'm going to show them that, what level I'm on. That's right. <laughs> so, this would be what number album for you? Now, Days is so crazy. This probably be my, this my, like, this, even if it's not my first album, this my first album. Like I was telling you, I never had like, you know, like weak promotion, the same, but just okay. as far as like setting up an album, turning in the album. This is my first time going through the process of a real album. Everything else just been like, whatever, whatever. I put it out, you know, it goes. Just I'm a good streamer artist. It just go. This time I actually like considered myself working on my album, like getting a studio for the whole <laughs> month, right. Like, Placing this, replay, like, I, I feel like this is my album. That's this right. This is my first time feeling like this is my album. That's right. Since I've been rapping. 
So who all can we expect on this new album? You got Future, you got Lil Uzi Vert, you got Young Thug, you got Gunna, you got my artist Rala Rodriguez, you got my other artist Folk Too Big. That's it. Are these features some like people that you say, man, I like what Buddy over there doing? Is it your collaborations, what you come up with, or your label be like? I ain't never had a label collaboration. Okay. Like never. Now on the back end, like far as you know, they get me exactly collaboration with other people and stuff. But far as me, like just calling my label, like, hey, I want to get a song with. I ain't never did that. Okay. And them people who are on that list, I I, I got their personal cell phone number. That's what's you up. Meaning, like, I kick it with them already. We was, you know what I'm saying? That's Ain't what's nobody, up. Like, I got to reach out to the label or this or that or get, like, them people. Of course, my artists, like, Gun and Thug, that's, like, automatic. Like, Future and them, you know, that's, like, automatic. But, like, Uzi, he, like, one of us. And I don't got nobody else on there. Oh, money back, yo, he one of the bros, though. You know what I'm saying? That's like, what's up. So it's, like, all the bro. I ain't even really got no artists on there that I don't know. I really don't do music like that, so it's not like I don't. Not that I don't got a problem with it, but it's just how it's me and you feel me. Like this, I'm trying to get into like rapping. So it's <laughs> like, how's me and them gonna get in the studio together? Yeah, unless they hit me up, cause I ain't never hit nobody up. So right. I work with them. I unless, unless now sometimes I didn't make songs, and I asked the bro like, who y'all here on this? Okay. But they ain't gonna say nobody. Who I really that you don't really yeah, know, you know what I'm yeah. So it's like, who y'all hear on this? Like, I hit YG up for a song before, like, cause he just a West Coast gangbanger. Exactly. You know what I'm like, <laughs> so like, who y'all hear on this? Like, YG, you know what I'm saying? But I, when I see him, I dap him up. It's neutral, so when I hit him up, he told me to send him songs. It's like ASAP. You know what I'm saying? And it's a pleasure for him to be on the song with Lil Baby. I mean, you know I'm saying? just saying. Right. So <laughs> if I hit somebody up, they uh, they they gonna hit me back, but I ain't. So I, I have to commend you for this because I really love the way that you show love to your children, to your sons. I'm like, that's really dope. I seen the birthday party there. I was like, wait, hold on. I wish I was a kid and had a Lego land party. But you your your goal, like as a father, um, can you just speak on fatherhood and what it means to you? Fatherhood. I was just trying to explain it minute ago, like, I ain't never had a father, so I can't really even explain fatherhood, but at the same time, I didn't had the streets take me in, and people in the street, different men, give, be that father figure to me, so I know, I don't know what it's like to have a father, but I, but I know what I imagine it's like to be a father, what you're supposed to do with your kids, it's just, and I don't even know how I know this because I never had it, but I just imagine it. Like, I seen it with other people and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So right. In my head, like, that's what you're supposed to do to the best of my ability. You know what I'm saying? Like, as far as I know, and to me, I can't I can't never, like, feel like I feel because my children don't have more than I had and I turn out to be what I am. So right. It's like, shit, I ain't tripping. Cause I really see your post. You like, I I want my son to be a bigger man than me. You know, right. I want my kids to have the things that I never had. Right. And I'm just like, wow, like that's, you I, really that's the stuff. I really like. I'm really into that. Mm-hmm. I'm really into that. I never want my speaking children. greatness over your kids. I never want my children to get evicted. Like, I never want my children to have to worry about cars. I never want my children to have to break in nobody's house. I never want my son to be in a prison. Right. It's just, Killers, like what? Like just from because I know that's mine, and like it just, I guess like a parent nature. But I guess our parents don't get that because some niggas laying on their children. Yeah. But for me, it's like that hurt me. Like, you get it. If I could like really, my son could say something, I can get a vision of him going the wrong way in life. Like it just do something to me. Like 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 damn it, like that was me. You want to protect them with all your heart. Yeah, and everything like that from, you got. from from what I went through. Like, right. Exactly. Even like, not even just from everything that was going on in the world, just the little shit that I went through. Exactly. And it's still so much shit in the world. I ain't even, through the grace of God, I ain't even go through. Right. But just even the shit I went through, like, I don't wish it on nobody, and especially my kids. Like, hell no. So before I let you go, 
I want to know um, these three years that you've been in the rap game. And I know it's, you know, sometimes that you've got to just sit back and be like, damn, I can't believe I, you know, accomplished this. Still now. What's like, you know, the the greatest feeling that you've been able to have since you have been able to create this career and this life for yourself? The greatest feeling I have is doing something for other people. Like, my mama in my house. Like, I bought my mama a house I ain't never been there. <laughs> Wait, what? Like, real deal, cash. She don't got no mortgage on nothing. My I sister, know, that's right. My sister's got houses, baby mama, everybody pay for it. I ain't never been in nobody's house. Like, best feeling in the world. Because like, you busy. You got to work. I'm going to give y'all a budget. Y'all pick a house. Y'all send me the, the, the house. I'm going to send you the money. Wow. Like, all of them. You find a house, you send it to me. I don't want to look at it. You, That's what you want, but get it. Like, send me how much it costs. Like, I got a company. I got a business. Make sure that they get paid for Right. You know I'm saying under my under my company and stuff. So go ahead. You know, like stuff like that. Like even just one of my bros who I ain't seen in a long time, but like you might be one of the ones who used to really be on the block with me, like thugging. If I bump you in the mall, I could just get you fresh. Like right. it just means so much to me. Like that's dope. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got a beautiful spirit, little baby. I'm so oh, happy I got a chance to meet you. Oh, definitely. I appreciate that. All right, so we got to talk once again. My turn, your album drops today. Can you just give a message to the city and tell these people to go get your get your stuff? Hey, hey, Download hey, it. Hey, 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 my turn out tonight. All platforms, I need everybody who's been rocking with me. And I ain't even here to even tell you to go get mine. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I'm like i telling you that like, I appreciate you for what you didn't did already. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody, all my fans, like everybody, I ain't been on no like, radio shows and none to just like, Touch people versus just like rapping. Just I just want like thank Atlanta for sure as a whole. Like being behind me, I ain't hurt nothing bad. I ain't been no slandering me. Like whatever I got going on, they with me. They like I definitely just shout out Atlanta. Like I want some point now, everybody the whole situation. Are you buying the West End Mall? I forgot to ask you all about that. Now, all right, now look, this the crazy part about the West End Mall. <laughs> I can't Mall. let you go before I, before listen, you listen. So so people start posting I bought the West End Mall, right? So when the people start posting, the people who actually own, who who invest the companies, these people, they actually reached out to me. So they reached out to me. I I reached out to me and fly me to L.A. They fly me to L.A. I actually have meetings with them. Like now, I really invested in the West End Mall. <laughs> nobody didn't buy. Nobody buy one. Okay. It's like a four hundred million dollar project. Shit. So it's like I got percent in the four hundred million dollar project right now. But that started off of people saying that I had bought them all. Right. I don't even know where that came from. An uh, internet rumor gone right. Because you right, from the right, West right, Side. Right, 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 they right. They know right. that it's a lot of gentrification happening like, on what? the West Side like, of town. I'm like, I'm like, so everybody posts like my personal posts in me. Like, you know, I'm like, hell no. Nah, no, I ain't do that. I would tell you. <laughs> like, hell no. Nah, like, they had only like $48 million for them all. Like, I ain't got no $48 million. I was like. Right. Like, hell no. Nah, I ain't buy them all. Like. And it could have been capital, like, yeah, yeah, I bought that bitch. Like, you could have said that. Long, but what would it happen? It turned me on to some of the investors, like, whatever, whatever. They, I flew out there to LA. They came meet with me. We've been, ever since then, we've been. I actually was supposed to launch something on my Instagram about the West End Mall, like, like showing that I am a part of it. That's what's up. Party. They come up, like, what is going to be. Congratulations. All that type of stuff. Most definitely. That's wonderful, man. I appreciate that. But don't it just say to you that whatever is for you is it's for, for you. you? That's what I was like. At this point, I'll be telling the bro, like, that shit meant, like, <laughs> I walked in there and said that on this song, like, bro, that shit just meant to be that, bro. That's, like, for me to be on that song and do that on that song. God knows I ain't tried, I ain't practiced, I ain't even think about that. And it just went on with it, so I'm like, this is what it is. Yeah. Amen. Church dance. <laughs> <Like that. laughs> All right, ATL, definitely. It's been a pleasure. Little baby in the building. Make sure you check out his new album. You get it off of Apple Music. I'm sure it's going to be on all platforms. All platforms, anywhere, every store. And I'm going to be pulling up on, like, different little places, too, like neighborhood, neighborhood, and, like, a little. I'm going to have, I'm gonna have some little nice little shit for my album to the point where they can get a physical copy. Physical copy of the A album. physical copy? And be with damn, 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 damn. <laughs> Y'all gonna put them in a CD player? <laughs> and I used to probably just be something for them to hold. Just no, like you a- know, people like on the South Side over there, um, 
at Tobago spot. Like people still, yeah, they still drive buy. up and buy the CD. CD. Yeah, I still. had no idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's such a waste of time, y'all. Y'all gotta stop being old school with that shit. Okay, like for real. Got them, them apps though. If you buy it on Apple Music, it's yours for life. Like, <laughs> right. the CD gonna break. <laughs> the CD gonna break. I'm just telling you. I'm old, but I ain't that old. All right. Thank you for tuning in <laughs> to Lennon's number one hit five station. It's Hot 1079. Go get Lil Baby album. My, My turn. turn.